So the other type of calculation I want to talk about is logical operators. So these are if and or type of calculations and we'll see how we can actually use them. So let's use something different now. Let's maybe use the customer name. Drag and drop it onto rows and maybe let's use sales again. I'm going to drag and drop sales onto columns. That's done. So let's create a new calculation. I'm going to click on analysis, create calculated field. And I'm going to basically create a calculation that differentiates my top customers versus my bottom customers. So let's say I call this calculation as top sales or let's say high sales. And I'm going to basically create an if function. So the syntax of an if is very simple. All I need to do is just give it a condition criteria and map it to a dimension or a measure. So I'm going to say if my sum of sales is greater than <clears throat> equal to $10,000 maybe. Because I want to say if the sum of sales is greater than a particular value, in this case it's $10,000 and if my customers satisfy that condition, classify them as one bucket, basically classify them as high value buckets. If not, classify them as a low value bucket. So my syntax is very simple here. I'm going to say if sum of sales is greater than 10,000, I type in then whatever label you want. I'm going to say high value and the text with the quotation and then also supply an else condition. If not, then what else, right? So then else low value. And then I need to end my if function with an end syntax. So this is basically the syntax of your if function. So let's go through it real quick again. If whatever condition is satisfied, then give me a particular value. If not, give me another value. And then my ending with a end statement. So that's pretty much what the syntax looks like. I'm going to click OK. And notice my high sales comes up as a measure, but more importantly, it is classified as a text here because we've assigned it a label. Hence, it is a text field. So I'm going to drag and drop this onto color. So sure enough, if you scroll down, my high value customers, which are above $10,000, get highlighted in blue. My low value customers, which are highlighted in orange, basically are the other values that are less than $10,000. So quick, quickly, at a quick visual glance, you can see which customers have high sales and low sales. Obviously, you can arrange them from high to low. You can do the same thing. You can see my top few customers who have sales above 10,000. The rest have sales less than 10,000 and so on. So I'm basically creating five buckets. A customers who are my highly desirable customers because they have extremely high profits as a function of sales, followed by my B, C and D. And then my last F customer, which is basically a catch all. So folks who do not fall under any of these buckets, who, who do not have profits greater than 40%, 30%, 10%, even 1% or 10% of my entire sales, they fall into that F category. Okay, so click on OK. And I have a new function called customer buckets, drag and drop customer buckets onto color. And I have five different colors. Let's change the color scheme so we can read it a lot better. I'm just going to click on this color, click on edit colors. Let's change the A to green. That is one of the most desirable customers. B to maybe a light blue. C to maybe a light yellow. D to maybe a light orange and F to maybe a dark red because F are my most undesirable customers. So you can kind of make some sense of what the colors mean and click OK. So there you go. So even though my top two customers have highest sales, they are my F customers in terms of profitability. They give me less than 10% of profits of sales. So in fact, the more I sell to them, the lesser I'm going to make out of them. But however, my third and fourth customers, Tamara and Raymond, are my A customers. 
So I need to refocus my selling efforts to make sure how I can get them to the top and get them to sell sell more to them because obviously the more I sell to them, the more profits I'm going to make 